<laughs> hey people, this is the Broken Puppet, back again with another video for you today. This one is how to do the structure of a female face. And it's kind of like this kind of angle, so you get the nose, the eyes, the mouth, you know, general head shape and that. And just teaches you just techniques on how to put everything roughly in the right place. And that, yeah, so uh, I'm sure they'll help, I'm sure you like it. If you want to subscribe, click below or click the link that's going to appear above. And that, and yeah, enjoy and I'll see you next time. Right people, here's how to draw the structure for a female face. And now, now it's not completely realistic, but it's more like uh, it's realistic in its like you know design. And now teaching realistic is a bit tough because there's a lot of stuff you just kind of have to learn, you know, like uh, shading and stuff, you know, through practice. And that right, do a nice big circle, front circle from the edge here, curve down a line like that, like so. From here. Curve around until you join back up with a circle. Down the centre bit, just coming down here, and a curve a line like so. And that coming across, curve a line coming the other way. Now this is for every person that's going to be facing this direction, and that. And now from here. Do another line, in the same stroke, same way you've done that, just here. Right, and that basically cuts off the side bit of the head. Just measure where like, you know, the side of the crown would be. And that, and this gives you an idea of where you want the cheek bone to be. So, imagine here, this bit is going to be the cheek piece, be here, and your eye is going to fit in this area and this area. Now, now you want, at this angle you want to do this oval bigger than this one because you're going to see more of this side than you will this one and that from here bring down a rectangle coming down from that corner bit of the eye and coming up so it touches pretty much where you put that one off the sides put a triangle and that bring the circular piece here it's going to show you where the top bit of the bridge and nose goes and that'll help you with the eyebrows. And that. From here, bring a line that comes halfway through this bit across here. Carry that line down, curving that way. Right. That'll tell you where the mouth starts. Put a little oval shape here. And a little oval shape underneath. So your mouth's going to go, that's where your chin's going to go. Now with the cheek structure, basically going roughly in this direction. And that, now we've done the oval shape, you're going to bring in a curve that comes up and joins up the line. So you fill in that little gap there like a sausage. Same with that. And now that's going to kind of tell you where you want to shade. And that where the cheekbone comes out at its most biggest point. And that. From here just bring up your line a little bit to a point and that kind of tells you where the top bit of the eye bit is. Top of the head. Now you've got that sketched out, I'm going to show you a my dark pencil, how to put in the features. Now I generally like to start with the nose because to me the nose is a good centre point to start with and I always start with the nostril usually. So bring a curve around the edge of that triangle bit there. Where it curves underneath, you've got to bring in a curve going the other way, just like that. And when you get to the edge, kind of curve it back, like so. From here, yeah, filming. One sec. Sorry about that. So, yeah, uh, bring that in there, bring a little line just coming off here, getting a little bit higher than what this bit was. And that once you get here, you want to curve this slightly, not too much, just a little bit of a curve. Bring this line following up that line. It's that point. You see, we just come across that bit we've done. Now, at this stage, you can bring a little curve here 
that give you an idea where the bottom bit of the nose goes. Okay, look. A little bit of a line there so you know where the bridge bit is. At the top bit, once you get to that corner where the line is, you just kind of curve it out a little bit and that'll fit where your eyebrow's going to go. Now at this stage, you're going to do this eye bit here. And now, now what you want is going from where that corner bit is there. Bring your line out and come up. Follow that line around that curve. Get to the edge. When you get to the edge, curve it up. Like so. Bring a nice curve around that top bit. Now, and underneath, I always like to mimic the shape of the eye, curve down a little bit, and make a little shadow bit just underneath the eye bit. It's not necessary, it's just something I like to do. Then just put in your pupil. Now, at this angle, the pupil is not going to be dead circle because your eye is at slightly at an angle. So you want it to be a bit more curved inwards than that. Make that top eyelid quite dark. Flick out a few little eyelash bits if you want. And then when that line comes, you can just kind of curve that up. Like so. Now the eyebrow above that comes from where that line bit is. And you want to curve up first and have a nice curve around. You want to and a vixen kind of eyebrow where you get a nice kind of curve to it if you feel it's curving out a little bit too much you can always just bring it back a touch I'm going to curve inwards a touch here you want to always curve in just a touch bring that forehead bit up a little bit there you go a little bit of shadow just under the nose there now we've done that, I can do the other eye. Now, you've got to remember that line comes here, this bridge bit comes here. So this is roughly where you want the eyebrow to start at this point here. Sorry, my hands in a way. And then you want the eye to start roughly around here. And that's, so if you imagine bringing up from the nostril, that's where you want it to be. You don't want to be too close into this area, because imagine this is a little gap between the eye. If you start here, it's going to look just too boss side. So yeah, similar to the other one. Bring your line up from that point. Quite steeply, and as you curve out, curve it longer and curve back. And then curve down and join up with the edge bit. Bring the line around that top. I'd like to bring a little curve, but just on this inside bit of the eye, just there. And that. Then put in your pupil. I've done that. Just darken up that top eyelid, like so. And then you can bring in your eyebrow. From that point, same to the other one, you want to bring it up quite high. You want to curve it almost so you get like a curve bit here, you know, where the end of the eye ends, so you get a nice kind of curve shape. From there, bring that line back, curve to the point, get a nice little bit of eyebrow there. Again, that little shadow just under the eye that I told you about, we've done on the other one. So, mimic the eye line, bring it down a touch. Shadow that area like so. Now you can bring in more eyelashes if you want, you know, make a bit more sort of feminine. But at this stage, we get this eye bit, put in your shadow. You want shadow to go in this area because the angle is that. A little bit underneath that, a little bit will go there. And there. You might get a touch bit on this bit depending on her expression across that curve because that curve is like that little bridge bit just above the nose. From there to the nose and there above the body eyebrows meet. Now coming down from the nose, if you imagine this bit here, 
Like you curve down that centre piece, that's where you know the uh, setting bit of the nose is. And that nose, where we got the mouth bit, bring it from this corner. Start off with like a little curved bit, just establish that, that side of the mouth. Curve it in, make a nice curvy line. And that, once you get to the middle, where the middle bit of the nose is, make a little nice dip. Curve it back out, and curve it back. Now you've got to remember the lines. The mouth's always going to be longer on this side than it is this side because the mouth curves around. You know you don't want to make it sort of you know same length both sides. Now from that edge, bring that lip in quite high. I like it. Bring that little curve just underneath that nostril bit. You know the uh, little septum bit. Curve around and join up to the side. Underneath, start with a nice kind of curve coming that way. A little bend coming up to that point. I like to put a little curve in the centerpiece, kind of like Angelina Jolie kind of lips. And that. Not necessary, but it's just what I like to do. Underneath the mouth, you want a line. Going to curve in that way, curve in that side. Just establish that bit of chin. And that. now from the side here, you bring this line down. Once you get here, you want to kind of make a dramatic, kind of not overly dramatic, but you want to establish that it kind of bends here at a point. Come here, curve around here. When you get to here, you want to make a strong chin. You don't want to make it too weak, and that's so you want it to point out a little bit. So it's going to point a bit, and then when it kind of curve back. So you see, you have a little bit of a strong chin, and that if you have too weak a chin, it just looks a bit weird. And that curve this around until we come back up to that line, like so. Now at this stage you can bring in like you know your stronger line, come here to try and establish this kind of cheekbone area if you want. Now it's not necessary at this stage, and just like that. The same thing here, from this side wrap it up, you'd have shadow here. This kind of shows that you know the face kind of tends, bends, and that. And now we got that, you can just uh, if you imagine where the eyeball is, bringing that line down there, that's roughly where you want the neck to start, but you want to give a little bit of curve to it. You always get roughly you know, a little bit of line coming down from this bit. And now if you imagine where this comes, you know, where the nose bit is, come across, that's where the earlobe is going to be roughly. And that the neck always starts just from that little bit behind the earlobe. And that. From here, you can just bring your line down, go a bit, bit of shoulder. And I'm not going to go too much into the neck because this is mostly the face I'm doing. A little shadow under the neck. And now we've got this bit. This is where you just work in the hair. Now, the hair, you know, is all down to you, it's the kind of style that you want it to be. And that, but I like to start mine from the centerpiece. So, if you imagine from here, just be the center of the hairline. So, just bring it back, and I'm just going to play around with it, make some nice shapes. So, give it a nice bit of a curve there. Bit of life, bit of volume. And that you can make it basic, sort of straight now, but I always find straight hair just a bit boring. I always go a bit crazy to hair. Often looks a bit weird, but <laughs> I just like playing around with the hair. And I imagine where if it curves around like here, I've got this bit curving around here. So, we've got these line bits. No. I like it to come around a bit in the face sometimes. So just a little bit of feature there with the hair. Make this bit here. You know, there's always a little bit just in front of the ear. So just in front of this bit here, you just want a little bit here. Going up. And that and if the hair hasn't quite covered this area, I like to kind of pull it back so you have little line bits. Come up the side bit of this hair. Just it. And that goes into where this part of the hair goes. Imagine it coming back. Going that way. There's a like, loose strand or two if you want. Don't do too many though. Too, too many makes the hair look a mess. One loose, one hair strand or two like loose looks a bit sexy. Too much just looks a bit silly. 
Unless, of course, she's got like crazy wet hair and you're going for that kind of look. A little bit of detail inside the ear, just like a wiggly line, you know, I don't have to focus too much because most of it gets covered by the hair. Yeah, you know, I mean, I ain't going too much into her, you know, but because the hair is pretty much however you want it to do. You know, if you want ideas for hairstyles, you know, look online, you know, different hairstyles and that. There's millions out there for women. You know, a lot of people get stuck, but just look up some dramatic hairstyles, you know, and sort of just, just sketch them down and learn from them. But, yeah, I mean, there you pretty much have it, you know, like, you know, you can put, like, you know, your shadow bits in, your line work, you know, just putting shadows here and there. I like to have a shadow kind of join up this bit, you know, from the corner of the mouth, this bit here, the cheekbone. But I mean, from the cheekbone as well, you also get that corner bit of the head. Sometimes get a nose shadow, which sort of maybe go there or something. But yeah, that's the basic structure of how to draw a woman's face. And that, you know, you can make it happy, you can make this bit up a little bit more. And they can do a little pimple, you know, you can sort of have, you know, a cheek bit coming here. You know, it all depends on what kind of face you're going for. Every sort of female face is slightly different. And that's, so when you do, just try and think of, you know, like what parts of the face you really want to express. Do you want to have, like, you know, the cheekbones really sort of showing? Do you want to have, like, you know, a good sort of cheek line here? Do you want to have, like, you know, a dimple in front of the mouth? Do you want the mouth to be thick or thin? Eyes and that. Just think about a character, what you want to show off. Now I'm really kind of pressed from that. But, yeah. Do a little... Remember, I'm ready to dot on the side. Yeah, you know, I mean, you can spend days on this. and It's just a quick sketch to give you an idea of how to structure it. But, yeah. I hope that helps you guys. And that, that is how to draw a woman's face, like the rough structure of it. And that, and the broken puppet. And I will see you next time. Peace out.